हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ कोइपिशेंट ऑफ परमेबिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल व्हिच इज इंडिकेटेड बाय स्मॉल के बाय कांस्टेंट हेड मेथड द लर्निंग आउटकम वुड बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन the coefficient of permeability of soil by constant head method so before we actually go into the constant head method of determination of coefficient of permeability we shall discuss about darcy's law which is taken as a reference for this experimental process henry darcy an hydraulic engineer has given a law which is based on his experimental study and he demonstrated experimentally that for a laminar flow condition in a saturated soil the rate of flow or the discharge per unit time is proportional to hydraulic gradient so what he said is that for a laminar flow condition the rate of flow or the discharge per unit time is proportional to hydraulic gradient so here in the equation you see v is directly proportional to hydraulic gradient which we denote by i which is nothing but it is the head loss per unit length of flow that means delta h upon l darcy stated that the flow of water through porous media is directly proportional to the head loss and inversely proportional to the length of flow it is quite obvious that if you have more length of flow then the flow of water will be taking more time and accordingly this equation we call or we refer it as a darcy's equation that is v is directly proportional to delta h upon l that is v is directly proportional to i so i is a hydraulic gradient and to remove this constant of proportionality we can introduce a constant and therefore this equation can be written as v equal to k into i and this v can be replaced by q by a therefore the q and divided by a if i take this a on the right hand side it becomes k i a so ultimately we arrived at a equation q equal to k i a which is referred as darcy's equation and in this equation q is the rate of flow k is the coefficient of permeability which is also referred as hydraulic conductivity and our job is now to find this k value now this darcy's law is valid under certain specific conditions and these conditions are given as it is applicable only in case of the steady state laminar flow and the soil must be 100% saturated and the flow shall fulfill the continuity condition and no volume change occurs during or as a result of flow so the volume of the soil remains constant and also the cross section area of the soil mass is considered so for all these conditions if it is satisfied then the darcy's law is applicable now as far as the determination of coefficient of permeability is considered there are many methods available such as we can see here uh, laboratory methods wherein we can perform two experiment called constant head permeability test and falling head permeability test then the field methods we have wherein we have pumping out test and pumping in test and there are certain indirect methods also from which we can get the value of k that is computations from grain size or specific surface horizontal capillary test consolidation test data also can be used to find the coefficient of permeability and the unit of coefficient of permeability as we discussed in the earlier slide it has got a unit of rate of flow therefore it is either centimeter per second or sometime meter per second now let us come to the 
laboratory method and in the laboratory method we will focus on the first one that is constant head test. So in this particular method we uh, make the water forcefully to travel through the soil under a known constant pressure. So as you can see on the right hand side a setup where we have a constant uh, head or constant bath here wherein the water is maintained or level is maintained constant and then uh, we have a soil sample and the water is allowed to flow through this soil for a specific period of time and the whatever flow takes place that has been collected in the measuring jar. So this test is used primarily to determine the suitability of sand and gravels for drainage purpose and is made only on remolded soil. So this experiment is very much useful for the coarse grain soil. So here you see the water is allowed to flow and, and water is forced by a known constant pressure because it is the, the constant head is maintained. So we have a constant pressure and with that constant pressure the water is allowed to flow through the soil. And whatever flow takes place that flow or that quantity of water flowing through the soil mass is collected in the measuring cylinder during a specific time interval. And based on this we can find the k value. So the total volume of water collected may be expressed as we know that q can be given as a into v into t. So a is the cross sectional area of the sample and v is the rate of flow and t is the time duration. And this v we can replace just now we have seen the Darcy's law v is equal to k into i. Therefore, this v is replaced by k into i and, and this equation is rearranged and in the form of k we can write like this ql upon a into h into t where q is the volume of water collected and this volume of the water collected in the measuring cylinder is known to us because we allow the water to pass for a specific time interval and during that time interval whatever water is collected that we will be measuring here and that is q and area of cross sectional of soil specimen will be known to us. T is the duration that we can decide and I is nothing but it is delta H upon L. So we know the Q in the experiment, we know the length of the flow. So L is you can see in the picture L is the length of the flow or the length of the soil specimen through which the water flows and capital A is the cross section area, H we can find h is nothing but it is the level difference you see head water head we can call. So this particular height we can measure in the laboratory and t is the time interval. So if you substitute all the values in this equation we will get the coefficient of permeability. So this is a simple approach and since in this experiment we allow the water to flow under a constant head therefore this method is called as constant head test. To understand the process or to understand the equation let us use one or let us discuss one example. Calculate the coefficient of permeability of a soil sample 6 centimeter in height and 50 centimeter square in cross section area. If a quantity of water is 430 ml passed down in 10 minutes under an effective constant head of 40 centimeter. So whatever we discussed in the previous slides related to that all the information is collected. So this example is as good as an observation table or the observations in the experiment. And using all these observations we need to find the k value. So therefore we know the k is given as q l upon t h a this we have already discussed. And now we need to find the magnitude of these values. So Q is the quantity of the water which is collected which is given 430. Time is known to us because it has been allowed for 10 minutes. So in seconds we find it as 600 seconds. Cross section area of the sample is given as 50 centimeter square. Length of the sample is also given as 6 centimeter and height that means the constant head which is maintained is 40 centimeter. So this all data is given. 
So, we can simply use this all data in the equation of k which we derived just now. So, substitute all the values we will get the k value as 2.15 into 10 to minus 3 centimeter per second and we can convert this value into meter per seconds as well because we know the relationship 1 centimeter per second is equal to 864 meters per day. So, this is how we can find the coefficient of permeability using constant head method. These are the references which are used for this particular experiment for uh, sorry for this presentation. Thank you.